Hey guys, if you want to see how I transformed my closet from this mess to this beautiful organized luxuriousness, then keep on watching. You can use a pliers just to pull these little things out but mine's downstairs in the garage and i don't feel like going down there so we're just going to use this can go flying so just be careful and i have to make sure that i don't lose that wait a minute why does something not come off Ugh. when you pull the nail out it allows you to these are those like expander things so when you pull the nail out it kind of closes so you can wiggle it out i'm just gonna leave it in here just like this so that whenever i'm moving out i can just stick it right back in the hole pull the nail in and pop the support back on so i'm just gonna take this one out off camera because you already get the gist all right took that one out now i'm just gonna pop these out oh ow i just hit my elbow i mean my shoulder Okay, change of plans. That little piece on the wall, I'm actually going to have to take it out because I forgot that when I measured the size of the bookshelf, two bookshelves fit like literally exactly right up until here. So with me having that little space, it wouldn't fit. The second one wouldn't fit here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. It's literally just like the supports. There's one screw, two screw, and then those little like pins at the top. So it's fairly easy. Gently pull this out the wall. There we go. So when I'm moving out, just stick these, oh, where is it? Oh, just stick these back and screw them down. Okay, so I think that's gonna give me just enough space. Of course, it can't be flush to the wall because of the big chunky baseboards so i'm gonna go ahead and measure it just to make sure that gave me enough space if not you know i really don't know it it's gonna have to fit all right moment of truth yep can you see that literally just enough i didn't watch any videos on like how people did theirs I'm just doing mine based off of what I want. So how I do mine is not how you have to do yours. For now, let's get the second one built. going with those big old long dirty ones i just got the last time these are the ones that i need okay so i have the first one assembled i'm gonna show you guys how i did it but i just wanted to kind of do like my own trial and error because i didn't really watch a tutorial on this i just watched like a video on how to install this because i didn't want to mess anything up but all the measuring and how i wanted it and all of that i did that myself so i didn't want to film me just <laughs> struggling i know a lot of people they might not like the hangers kind of passing the bookshelf like they want it more in but these are adult hangers so i can't put them any more in than that but to be honest it really doesn't bother me i did want to let you know kind of how i did this without having screws coming out the other side as you can see if i were to use this nail it would go all the way through like that that short one is i want to say what would you say like half of this maybe yeah it's like maybe half of this. That screw is literally the perfect length so that it doesn't go through the other side of the bookshelf. And that's the one that I used inside of here. And then whenever I go back to Home Depot, I'll get some more 
so that I can put them in the top holes. I just measured it with the hanger on like this to make sure that it wasn't gonna hit the back of the bookshelf when I put them on and it's literally like perfect. I'll show you exactly how I did it but first we're gonna build the second bookshelf so that I can finally get that up <sighs> and I think I'm actually gonna have to go back to Target. Ugh! It is 1.15 and I want to see if I can get this one built in like 30 minutes. Like I showed you, mine's not going to be against the wall. But if yours is going to be against the wall, just take the two extra seconds to just hook it up to the wall. Safety first. But yeah, for me, um, we're done with that. And as promised, I'm going to show you guys how I personally decided to hook up my clothing rack. I showed you guys this already, but this is the one that I decided to go with. Don't be like me and don't pay attention and get the wrong size. Make sure you get the 18 to 30 inch. That's the only one that's gonna fit in this Target bookcase, okay? So when you open it, you're gonna have two. You're gonna have a bigger one and a smaller one, right? And on each side, it comes with hardware. So you're just gonna unscrew those little screws. And this is what I was talking about. These screws are too long. Like they're gonna poke through. So I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna use the one that I showed you earlier. You're gonna get these two little pieces. Remember one side's bigger than the other. So when you're doing your measurements, make sure you measure with these. One is slightly bigger than the other because one pole is bigger than the other, okay? I wrote down my measurements for the last one. So I literally kept it just how i wanted it um just really quickly if you didn't want this right here and you wanted your hanger to be able to go a little bit more in you could do what i did and just bring your bookcase up a little bit and then leave this back portion out a lot of closet systems don't have a backing so you could do it like that and that would give you more space so that you could put the rack like in here and then your clothes would be more in and flush to the front and it wouldn't have anything bouncing on it so that being said i did mine three inches in and then about two if you can see it but f distance from the top about right there right there and this is so high i'm like literally on my tippy toes now i'm just going to take my tape measure and make sure that that is perfect okay now i'm going to do the same thing to the other side and then i'll come back okay so i have that done both of my holes are marked on both sides i'm just going to do what i did on the other bookcase i just took a nail and i just lightly tapped it We're gonna take the bigger one. If you have a hammer or something metal, just take your screwdriver and kind of like rub it on there. And then literally it's like magnetic. It won't fall off. <laughs> and start screwing it in. You could use a drill for this, but it's really not that hard with the screwdriver. So I'm just, since I didn't buy enough of these shorter screws, I'm just putting the rack up with the main one, which is in here. And then I'll go buy more to put in the top. I broke a sweat. Now you're just gonna take the big side to the big side and the small side to the small side. Now the big side will have a little hole. The small side will have a little hole. Make sure you put them in with the holes facing out. So we're gonna do the big side first and you're just gonna use that same screw that was originally on it 
and I'm just gonna screw it into the bottom. And then you just extend out the other side and then use the other little screw that it came with already at the bottom here and you're just gonna screw that in as well. Ta-da! All right, let's get this in the closet. This is adding just a little bit more space that I didn't plan for. So let's see if I can squeeze it in here because this is going to work. Oh! If you like anything satisfactory, <gasps> Schmerbolt is something my pretty things. That's why it wasn't going in. No, man, this is the last project I'm doing for the year. Almost broke my neck so many times. Okay, so at this point, I just wasn't feeling how the closet was looking and I decided to just take it up a notch because I was going to leave it like this, but I was like, you know what, I can make this look really good. So I changed my mind and that's what you're going to see in the next clips is me just going all out. So this is when the closet really changes. Kid you not, I needed two and guys two left so i picked up those black bins that i was talking about i decided to only get four because i don't think i'm going to be using any more than that so yeah and they're just <laughs> falling through here so let me put it down here Okay, I've been looking for some hangers. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit loud because they're playing music loud over here, but these are the hangers that I want. They're non-slip velvet and they're black. Love them. Okay, so I don't remember where I left off, um, but fast forward, I decided to spray paint the poles black instead just to give a more luxurious look i wasn't liking the white it looked very dingy and cheap <laughs> so i got this sandpaper i know absolutely nothing about sandpapering wait sanding oh my gosh <laughs> um i saw that this said that you can use it on metal let me see where did i see that i'm not seeing it i promise you it said perfect for like metal and i'm not seeing where it says that now i'm wondering i don't know <laughs> I'm just going to use the fine grit and we'll see what that does. This is just going to be trial and error. So, yeah. And then I got this spray paint, just a matte black spray paint with primer in it already. So I don't have to do any of that extra stuff. And we're going to see what it does. I don't know. DIY. Okay, so you're definitely not going to see this on camera, but I just rubbed it a little bit with the fine grit. My only worry is the lines that the sandpaper is leaving in it. I don't want it to be like textured, you know, but it's only going to be me in my closet. So if it is, I don't really care, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that to the whole entire thing and then we'll spray paint. So I'm going to have to move my car out of the garage and yeah, we'll get right to it. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but you see, there's no shine on it anymore. And that only took me like a minute, so I'm happy with that. We're just going to go ahead and test it out because I won't know if it's good or not or if I need to sand more if I don't try. So I'm going to see how that looks. Okay, I moved my car out of the garage and I have the pole there. So we're going to go ahead and see. That honestly looks pretty good. I'm I'm not mad at it. Oh, man. It just rolled over. It's whatever. But look at that. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the black matte. Wait, what? The matte black bar that I put in. Um, It looks, oh my gosh, so much better. And I actually think you can buy these in some areas already matte black. And you don't have to go through the trouble of spray painting them like i had to but unfortunately i couldn't find them anywhere so i just grab a can of spray paint and you know do it myself um and then i'm gonna get some matte black paint and just paint over the screw so that you can't see it but 
looks amazing and then i picked up some of these from target they're like velvet black hangers and look at that oh my gosh so much better look at that that just looks like cheap and then look at that ah, love it i'm actually going to expand the closet i'm not going to show you it's a disaster in here okay remember i said i was just gonna do this side and make it look all nice and pretty but i just decided to do the whole closet so that's what i'm gonna do you already saw me building this and doing all of that so i'm not gonna show you that part i'll just come back when the other one's built and i'm putting it in so yeah okay, so this is where i'm at right now unfortunately i wasn't able to put that bookshelf there which is where i wanted it and then i wanted this to be over here it would have looked more uniform and there wouldn't be like a big old hole you know but i didn't want to take down this because i wanted to use it ah i wanted to use it for storage and i really did not want to take this down um so this is in the way so i can't put this here <laughs> um but it's okay i just wanted it to look nice but whatever we're just gonna work with that okay so i just added the black bins and it looks so good i'm gonna take that where's my finger i'm gonna take those out and then i added some bags at the top and then so far i just have like my jewelry thing and some decor I still have to like clean it up and stuff but from the side you can't see that stuff so that's why i put it there <laughs> okay i hope you guys can hear me because the laundry is going but i just wanted to show you i went back to target and i actually got the oh wrong side the petite hangers because the regular ones were massive and i don't know those are like grown man hangers these are perfect so i went back and got those i also got a package and i think these are the lights that i'm gonna put up in the closet so i'm excited about that went ahead and put up the other bar so you can see the black oh my gosh it looks so nice so it's gonna look so much better with the black hangers and i still have the other one that i need to spray paint i stole the shelves that were there and added them to this side for my shoes and I don't know if i showed you guys this yet but yeah i started organizing my shoes on this side i have a lot of stuff all over the place in here because i was moving things around but finally today we're gonna organize and clean it up and get it looking decent okay bye <laughs> so i secured the batteries for the lights that are put up in the closet i don't even i hope i updated you at this point i've lost track but i don't even know what brand these are i've never seen these in my life but since they're just closet lights, I did not want to drop a bag on batteries. Like, the fact that I need this many batteries, crazy. Just in case I did not update you guys, I tested out this light. And then I went ahead and put them up. It came in a pack of six. So I did one there, one there, uh, one here, one here. What was that? Oh, I thought that was a bug, but it, it's just a little thingy much icky. Um, And then I did one here and one here i'll get another pack maybe in the future but the fact that i need all these batteries it just doesn't make sense to even get any more so we'll see how that looks so i'm gonna go ahead and put that up and then i went ahead and returned the big hangers that i got from target and they actually sold the petite version so now the hangers can move freely and they're not sticking out too far this is looking nice Alrighty, so the last one is up. It's mounted. I just put the um the pants that I had at the top one down here, and then I have the dresses kind of folded like this, and I put them down here as well because I just didn't like how they looked up at the top. And then I have to get the rest of my clothes, but I'm gonna do like tank tops and body suits, and then I'm gonna do like any jackets that I have out. Most of them are packed up, so I don't really have a lot of jackets out. But this one's mostly going to be like shorter t-shirts and longer t-shirts. Um, There's still organizing that really needs to be done. But that was the main thing holding me up. So I'm so happy that that's finally done. I just need to add my shoes back over here so that it's nice and filled up again. And then, you know, little things like move these hangers and all of that. But I didn't want to take this down because I'm going to be using it for storage so that's what it would pretty much look like i think it looks 
so good especially at night with the lights on it looks really nice so yeah i am a little bummed out that i couldn't put this one over there because i wasn't taking down that wow i just washed my hands and they look dry and crusty so don't mind that um this bar right here would not allow me to put this shelf over there to kind of you know close it off and make it look more complete so i did have to put that there i think it's cute regardless and i think it looks really nice and neat so i'm happy with that so i'm just gonna put the shoes back add some more clothes and then maybe do some organizing but at this point i am so over it guys so when everything is like when i add more clothes and i put the shoes back i'm gonna show you guys everything all done with the lights and all of that good stuff all right guys she's done let's take a look So it is finally done i still have um a few more clothes to hang up so this will probably be filled up a little bit more in this one too but for the most part it is done you remember earlier on in the video i said i was going to get more of these lights so that i can fill up each one of these with a light so that it just looks more full and then i'll probably put like one there and one there so the lights aren't done the only time i'll be using the lights would be at night when i'm in here so no one's gonna see that other than on this video so i am so happy with how it looks so far um i just wanted to show you guys what the lights ended up looking like and you can change the colors you can set it on a timer so like say you know you're gonna be in your closet maybe you want to put it on a timer you can do that and then there's like little effects and stuff that you could do you can change the colors and all of that it's a little all right there we go <laughs> and of course when each shelf has its own light it's gonna look very nice and then when there's light over there as well it's gonna look really nice so just keep that in mind but as for the closet it is done here it is with some light don't worry about what's up there nobody can see that so i'm just leaving it like that for now and then this is just a bin with some clothes that I'm going to do a video on. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's a try-on haul. So that will be the next video that I upload. But as for the closet, it's pretty much done. And I'm sure as the months pass, it's going to look a little bit different. Because I have this frame up here that I want to hang here. And I want to do some wall decor. This is what I wanted. I wanted something clean, open and just aesthetic go look at the before earlier on in this video and then come back to this and it's just so nice and clean and then i just have all of my shoes over here i need to fill in that little spot um but that's pretty much it we got necessities in these bat um not bags bins and then i have like purses and all my fanny packs here and i think i showed you already what was up on that top part there you can see my tools hiding back there <laughs> i just placed them back there for now whenever i film in here though it'll probably be from like an angle like this see that oh my gosh it's so pretty i hope this video was helpful and detailed it's very easy you can do it on your own especially if you follow everything that i did the lights i got from amazon i will link it down below let me know what you think below um and if you do this little diy project comment down below how it went for you thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up let me know if you want more videos like this and stay tuned for the try on haul that i'm going to be doing i'm so excited to be back um i will be uploading again and i'll see you guys in my next video